That won't work on Lily. Just try it out for yourself. Lily try was always behaving right. calmly. She's now as obedient as a little lamb. Well... Go ahead. Lily, serve the doctor and me some tea. Bravo! Ha ha ha. Well, I'm thirsty anyway. What do you say now, Lily? Would you like to serve her some tea? Just watching him will give you the quivering twitches. I gotta go with okay. Uh -huh. I... <laughs> Restrictions? What the hell? Oh, don't make fire. Don't contradict adults. Don't drink alcohol. Oh, lying, entertaining. In oh, entering dangerous places. Use sharp objects. Getting angry. Doing whatever you want. Uh, okay. The hell? Oh, I don't have anything in inventory, so... So what the hell am I supposed... So I'm supposed to do the tea thing, I guess. That was Mother Superior's calming tea. Maybe she should switch brands. Well, I don't see anything to do but to do it. Some of the cups had bite marks. Ow! Calming tea didn't seem to work very well. Okay. Psst, Lily. Okay, I think we can narrow this down. Don't be afraid, Lily. It's me, Garrett. Of Please, course it is. Stay calm. You were hypnotized by Dr. Marcel, and now you're completely in his control. But don't worry, I can help you. But you'll have to come with me to my secret room. You can find the entrance in front of Mother Superior's office, in the dark corner next to the ah, fireplace. Okay, I know where but first, is. I need your help. I've been watching Mother Superior and the Doctor for a long time, and I'm very close to unveiling their evil deeds. All I need is a confession. Here, take this extract of Deadly Nightshade. <laughs> what big it's eyes truth, you have. Sue. Pour it into Mother Superior's tea. As soon as she drinks it, she'll start spilling all of her secrets. Did you understand? Uh-huh. Excellent. Lily, what are you doing? You're supposed to be making us tea, not staring at paintings. Oh, uh, don't be so harsh on her. Lily will complete her task. But I have to confess that I have also admired your... Gallery, I'm especially interested in this embroidery over here. It's a bit unusual, don't you think? Oh, that one. It's just an old keepsake. Hardly worth mentioning. I can't even remember hanging it there. You can't? Interesting. What is it actually an embroidery of? An eight-legged unicorn? It's only the embroidery of a dumb, irresponsible... Something in her past. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's actually more significant than we realize. So, I don't know. Do we pour... Do we take the teapot? Okay, now do we take the teacups? Do we take Lily tea already had enough cups. Ah, okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Mr. Narrator. Do we put tea in the cup? Yes. Do we put truth serum in the cup? And who the hell were we giving this to? Oh, we're get Oh really? crap! You clumsy good for nothing! Do you really want to embarrass me in front of the doctor? Hmm. That is strange. The hypnosis is foolproof. Ah, it was probably just an accident. The whole ch ch child is a total accident. If I could, could, I would. But 
please, Mrs. Superior, do calm down. Lily will complete her task. Right, Lily? Uh-huh. Well, then, please bring us some more tea, okay? Be so kind. Lily didn't show it, but she was close to panicking. Serving more tea was no problem, but where would she get more truth serum from? In my pocket, because I got it earlier. The funny rabbit with the glowing eyes was sitting indifferently on a chair. Maybe Lily would be allowed to play with him for a while. But what's she doing now? Is that really part of her conditioning? No worries. She's hypnotized and incapable of making any mischief. So we're pretty much narrowed down to you and we need another cap. Okay. What has it got in its pockets? Serving more tea was no problem, but where would she get more truth serum from? I don't know, Mr. Narrator. So... It seemed boring to Lily, but Mother Superior usually drank tea. You just really want to be a hard ass about this, don't you? Oh. Lily suspected that the Deadly Nightshade would have the same <laughs> oh, as no! elixir, <gasps> at least a similar one. Now oh, it just no. had to be boiled. Uh, uh, I have a feeling it's not going to have the same effect. So they don't care if I leave. Hello, Lily. You're not going to play with fire, are you? Uh-uh. I just wanted to be sure. You know, safe is safe. Oh, was she... Did I touch the wrong thing there? No, I didn't touch Hello, the Lily. You're not going to play with uh -uh. fire. I just wanted to be on the safe side. Lily carefully placed the kettle on the hook and made sure oh, not to touch okay. the fire. That was it. Lily's special tea was ready. She called it pure truth. A blend of rooibos and deadly nightshade. Finally! It's about time. Stupid chop! Chop chop! Are you feeling all right? You are downright... hysterical. It's that embroidery! <laughs> uh -oh. It reminds me of my... <laughs> Did she do it? Childhood! <laughs> I was such a stupid <laughs> child. <laughs> I so wanted to have a unicorn for a pet. <laughs> a unicorn? Can you believe it? But what they gave me instead was <laughs> a tarantula. Ah, then you're the one who embroidered this. Shaggy died. While I tried to attach a horn to a forehead oh. with a nail gun, I was such a stupid <laughs> So we are kindred spirits. I loathe children. Because of the child that killed your unicorn. I understand. The adults seemed to be busy with adult problems. This was Lily's chance. 
Well, you just gotta love how he does that. <laughs> this is my chance to do what, you putts? Uh, wasn't there a... I assume there's no... I thought that was the opening to the, what you call it, a secret room back there, and it's... Uh, Evidently, it doesn't open by itself, but there was uh, a bracket over here that was did something or other. There seemed to be some kind of bracket up on the wall, but Lily couldn't continue without more light. And and the terrible old man said that, uh, oh crap, how did I miss that before? Have I been missing that all this time? Okay, so, and we need light, duh. Mother well, Superior lit these torches Tor when oh. she sat in her office on dark it nights. wasn't there before. Okay, well, go get the torch, Lily. Uh, the terrible man said there were, uh, I can finish a sentence, I swear I can. The terrible man said there were secret path or implied there were secret passages all through. Well, obviously something. A burning the torch beginning. would have lit up the darkness much better. Unfortunately, the torch had gone out. Nevertheless, Lily was proud she knew so much about how torches work. <laughs> and you're just a putz. You really are. Oh crap! <laughs> oh Hello, no! Lily? You're not going to play with fire, are you? Of course you don't want that. You know that Mother Superior has forbidden it. I gotta say it, you little... Something weird was happening here. I gotta say it, you little shitbag. <laughs> uh, the, the, so... Uh, yeah, I know all these damn things. I can't get angry, I can't... I can't wipe, I can't squat, uh, I think I'm going to get zapped again. Uh, I don't know, I'm thinking Jared again, or Garrett, or whoever the hell he is. I, obviously none of this other stuff, I don't think Harvey can help us. Didn't we the get something funny stupid? rabbit with the yeah. glowing eyes was sitting indifferently on the chair. Maybe Lily would be allowed to play with him for a while. Yeah, probably more than I want to. Um, <gasps> well done, he's there. Lily. I've heard everything I wanted to hear. Mother Superior's obviously gone gaga. I already suspected that. Now hurry. Come to me in the secret room. There's a hidden door in the dark corner in front of the office. Right next to the fireplace outside. Yes. Oh, damn. Of course you can't make any light. You're not allowed to play with fire. I'd completely forgotten about that. One moment. Let me think. Hmm. I think I have an idea. There isn't any way to break through a block created by hypnosis. Unless you get hypnotized again. It's risky. But you could put yourself in a trance and fight the block directly in your own subconscious. But be warned, the world inside of a trance is an eerie place. It's like a parallel universe that only exists in your mind. Traversing it without the guidance of a trained hypnotist has its dangers, and the blocks created by the doctor will probably appear as powerful demons that you can only defeat in a mental duel. Did you understand all that? Hell no! I'm thinking you about ponies. To. Not yet. Just use the stuffed rabbit to hypnotize yourself. Once you're in a trance, look for the inner demon that's preventing you from making a fire, and destroy him. Okay. All that sounded like woogie 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 to me, but I'm a psychopath, and I got the whole destroy thing down pat. <gasps> Oh, you just must you... not play with fire. Lucky. Oogie. Oogie. With the rabbit's help, Lily 